Hello everybody, thanks for joining me for another makeup tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing um, an Arwen inspired look, um, lift Tyler mainly. I'm not, I mean, it's not going to be exactly like how Arwen's makeup looks in Lord of the Rings, but it's going to be just kind of similar to what um, Liv Tyler usually wears, which is very minimal makeup. Usually there's sometimes where she'll go like a little more dramatic on either the eyes or the lips, but I just want to do kind of the normal look that she does and kind of tie it in with Arwen. So um, I've already got the eyeshadow on this one eye done. I've primed my lids with Urban Decay Primer Potion. And the first eyeshadow color I'm going to use is Bare Minerals Soul, which is just a nice vanilla highlight. Any color is fine. Um, nice, you know, vanilla highlight colors is ideal for this. And I'm just going to take a big eyeshadow brush and apply this really lightly all over the lid. I did this look one time um, for like a costume, well like a Halloween type thing, even though I don't celebrate Halloween, I just wanted to do elf makeup. And so I did this one and then I changed it into this really dark like, you know, night elf, evil elf type thing and it looked really cool. Well the first one, the Arwen one, looked really good. Um, so what I'm doing is kind of similar to that but it's just super simple. So then I'm going to take um, a nice neutral kind of... I don't know what I'd call this, a dark beige or something. Um, it's Ulta Eyeshadow in Twinkle. And that's what it looks like. Taking my Sephora blending brush and get a good amount of that and kind of blend it in the lid. And then you're just going to go all over the lid and then bring it right up into the crease. And just about, you know, the width of the brush, just blend it all around in the crease. I think it would be so much fun to do makeup for movies. <laughs> I just uh, I just think it would be so cool. Alright. So, that's it for the eyeshadow. Woohoo! Only two colors. It took like two seconds to do, practically. Um, so now what I'm going to do is um, add some eyeliner. This is kind of optional if you want a really, really soft look. You don't have to do eyeliner. Um, but I'm going to use Mary Kay Signature Eyeliner in Sable, which is just a dark, kind of like a taupe color. It's not really like a warm brown, but kind of it's more of a cool brown. So with this eyeliner, you just want to go super, super thin right into the lashes and go about three quarters of the way in just to where your lashes start to get smaller on the inner corners. So, I mean, just like as thin as you can and then uh, go ahead and do your eyebrows. Then I'm going to add just some really, tr try to get like the most natural looking mascara you can. It's not going to make your lashes look absolutely huge and fake. Um, I'm going to just use my L'Oreal Bare Naturel Mascara in Black is Black. And then I'll come back and show you cheeks and lips. Okay, so now that we have the eyes finished, I'm going to use just a really nice um, shimmery pink blush. I'm going to use Jane B. Pure Mineral Blush in, um, gosh, doesn't have the color anymore. I think it's like, I don't know what it's called, but this is what it looks like. You just want something that's got a little bit of shimmer that's really finely milled that'll just kind of make your skin look really glowy and nice. So, um, these are always a pain in the butt to deal with. Minerals, you gotta love them. Okay, back to the makeup. Okay, the application is kind of weird. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna do it a little bit, but basically she has it kind of more under the cheekbones than on top and like on the apples of the cheek. So, I'm just gonna kind of start back here. You don't want to go too far in, like to the apples of the cheeks. You want to keep it back here. So now I'm just kind of blending this all out. And she usually seems to wear a good amount of blush. I mean, not like, you know, an insane amount or anything, but good amount. So I'm probably going to end up blending that with just a powder brush. Um, so it doesn't, you know, so it just blends in a lot nicer. And then for the lips, um, I just kind of wanted to, I read somewhere that she used the Clinique Almost Honey, Almost Lipstick in, what is it, 
honey or something like I don't know that the one thing that I always use the Clinique lipstick um, I've heard she they actually use that on her in the movie but um, I just kind of I always use that so I just wanted to do something a little bit different um, so I'm going to use my Stila Cherry Crush uh, Lip and Cheek Stain on my lips and then just put a little bit of that on and then follow with Burt's Bees Replenishing Lip Balm alrighty so here's the finished um, Arwen or Liv Tyler inspired makeup look Hope you like it and I think it turned out really pretty I like it a lot um, I think it's really similar to what she seems to be wearing in you know Lord of the Rings and stuff um, I have a confession to make also that it's something that's a lot of my close friends and stuff know eventually but basically um, I would I think it would be the coolest thing to be able to be like an elf like a Lord of the Rings elf oh my gosh I think it'd be so amazing like I mean just can't you just see like pointy ears on me I mean come on I just oh I think it'd be so cool I've had like a couple people just like randomly tell me like I didn't even tell them that and they're like Bethany you'd make a great elf and I'm like oh, you don't even know how much that means to me so anyway I just had to throw out that little tidbit for you and I hope you like this tutorial and keep on for more videos. You guys awesome are awesome. You guys awesome. You guys awesome. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye.